Megan has lately been cosplaying Jennifer Garner, a nerdy American mom who loves to cook, take care of her kids, and just chill, etc. Jennifer Garner became hugely popular during a long separation and divorce from Ben Affleck, during his serious addiction struggles. Jennifer Garner is very involved in Save the Children. Remember when Markle did the book reading with Archie for his first birthday in his diaper, benefiting that charity? Jennifer Garner is also a big favourite of the Bidens, and I don't blame them, she seems lovely. But Markle seems like she wants to take on a persona next. Jennifer Garner had her own career as an actress on TV and films in the USA, before and maybe for a while after she married Ben Affleck. Jennifer comes from a wholesome, loving household and wasn't raised to take advantage of people and be complete trash. She's the real deal. She has strong morals and is very well respected in her field. On the other side, Megan wants all of that glory, but she wants it without the authentic life behind it. She's planning to be the next Kim Kardashian, as far as having her own show where she controls the storyline and all aspects of the finished product. Jennifer Garner was literally sainted for dealing with Ben Affleck during the very public separation and divorce and co-parenting struggles. Has Markle already been setting up the next chapter? When was the last time anyone saw the Harkles together? Not video pre-recorded in July or on a photo from a year ago, but actually together and enjoying each other's company. Harry shared some details of the blowout fight between him and his wife Meghan Markle in his upcoming book Spare. According to him, he snapped at her and the incident prompted him to seek therapy. Maybe the wine went to my head. Maybe the weeks of battling the press had worn me down. For some reason, when the conversation took an unexpected turn, I became touchy, Prince Harry wrote. Then angry. Disproportionately, sloppily angry. I was also just oversensitive that night. I thought, why is she having a go at me? I snapped at her, spoke to her harshly and cruelly. As the words left my mouth, I could feel everything in the room come to a stop. The gravy stopped bubbling, the molecules of air stopped orbiting. Even Nina Simone seemed to pause. Markle reportedly walked out of the room, according to Prince Harry. She disappeared for a full 15 minutes, and he found her sitting alone in the bedroom. Harry said that they talked again in the bedroom about the issue. Markle was calm, and she told him something that struck him. It wasn't necessarily an ultimatum, but Prince Harry knew he could lose her if he wouldn't help himself manage his anger. She was calm, but said in a quiet, level tone that she would never stand for being spoken to like that again. I nodded. She wanted to know where it came from, Prince Harry continued. I don't know. Where did you ever hear a man speak like that to a woman? Did you overhear adults speak that way when you were growing up? I cleared my throat, looked away and responded, yes. Markle told her husband that she would not tolerate a partner who yelled at her like that. She also clarified that it wasn't the environment she wanted for the children growing up. She wasn't going to raise children in an atmosphere of anger or disrespect. She laid it all out, super clearly. 